I have to wear my sunglasses today. It's overcast and the light is kind of diffusing everywhere. I think I've mentioned once before, I suffer from chronic migraines and one of the things that can trigger them is light over my head, especially sunlight. So I'm not trying to hide or be rude or anything. Hi. Um, I haven't been vlogging every day because I haven't really, I haven't had any big mood shifts or anything and <clears throat> I haven't really had time to sit down and think about videos to do other than like the app reviews and stuff that I'm doing that would be appropriate for this channel because I don't want to go all over the place. This is my bipolar vlog, my mental health vlog, <clears throat> and I, I want it to stay about those things. Yesterday, I'm not sure what was going on with me. I just, I, I shot a couple videos for my other YouTube channel and I had to redo one of them three times, almost four times. And then the other one I redid twice because I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like anything. I didn't either, I didn't like the way I looked or I didn't like, you know, that I was, you know, not, I guess succinct in my speech or I just, you know, there was something about all of them that I didn't like and I still like the one I put up is not something I'm super proud of. It's, you know, it was like this will work kind of thing and I I hate feeling like that because I'm kind of a hopeless overachiever um, which I don't think has as much to do with my bipolar as it does being a child of an alcoholic. I think a lot of us fall into that and having an emotionally having emotionally unavailable parents I think that's one of the things that happens to you is you fall into that need to constantly be doing 50 times better than you did the day before and to always be doing like you know awesome stuff so if it's not not that I'm quite a perfectionist but you know I don't like anything I do to not be really good I guess And I also, for my other channel, I really like my other channel. I like doing my other channel. I really like my subscribers. I have a small subscriber community. It's a little less than 300, but they're loyal. Let me tell you, they, I have some that comment on every video. Um, I have quite a few that message me, some of them almost every day, which is fine because they're not it's not like they're obnoxious about it. They're usually very respectful and polite and just ask how I'm doing or what I'm doing for my next video. Um, and I like that engagement. Um, so I, I don't mind that my channel is small because I think you know, what I do is so niche anyway. It's never going to be huge. I'm never going to have millions of subscribers or anything. And that's, that's not why I started it at all. So I, I don't really care about that so much. But recently I've had a couple of requests that are just things like, I can't do that on YouTube, I'm gonna get striked. Or they're just things where I'm like, I'm not comfortable doing that. And you know, but the way it comes across for a few of them, and this is a very small handful out of almost 300 people, it, it, it's just, comes across as really entitled and it's kind of upsetting me and I don't know if it really is that way or if I'm just because I was so manic for so long um I, I think I mentioned in my vlog before when I'm manic I'm very like meticulous about my appearance and I care about what I look like you know for me not because I care if the other people notice or anything I just you know I fixate on that I guess and I think a lot of it has to do with thinking that if I can hyper control the way I look visibly to me you know it somehow translates into control over myself or what's going on in my head um, I don't know if that makes sense if you're bipolar it might make sense to you um, so, because I'm coming out of that and I'm kind of 
you know, I'm stable and I'm trying to make sure I'm doing the things that stay stable, I guess any attempt where it feels like somebody's trying to change me or make me something I'm not just really bothers me because like if I were manic I would probably do it you know what I mean and I don't and maybe that's the reason I don't want to do it not just because I'm uncomfortable with it because it's like that's I don't want to spin myself into a different place I guess um or it could just be that, you know, most women don't like it when men they don't know tell them they should wear their hair differently or they should smile or whatever because it's kind of obnoxious, frankly. Um, but it's different because I do accept requests. Most of the videos I do are requests. And so, you know, what I'm doing, I'm putting things out there for consumption. So if they're saying, I'd like it better if you wore red lipstick or lots of lip gloss you know, it's kind of different, um, but some of the things are just like, I'm not doing that, and um, I'm kind of struggling with a polite, you know, way to say that, because I don't want to come across as bitchy or offensive, because I don't want to make them feel bad, I guess, that they asked, because I don't think they were trying to be really obnoxious about it. Um, I think they just took me at my word when I said, you know, ask me and I might, you know, if it's something I can work in and I'm okay with it, I'll do it. Uh, so I don't want to make them feel bad for asking or to lose that engagement and make them feel like now I'm somebody who's like, you know, pushing my audience away, I guess. Um, and I don't like, I don't. I'm not overly concerned about it like I care too much like I would if I were manic. I, I care about it because I do like having my channel, you know, I do like my subscribers, I like the, you know, engagement I have with them, so I don't want to lose that if I start coming across as like, you know, piss off, I'm not doing that, because that's not how I would mean it but people are sensitive and when you're only communicating with them online, um, anyone who's ever been on Twitter knows how easy it is for people to take things the wrong way and usually they take it in the worst way possible um, and I don't want that to happen. So my energy's been okay, um, it hasn't been like too high and it hasn't been like I'm not lethargic or anything. And I think I've gotten an appropriate amount of things done every day for where I'm at. Um, so that's good. Um, my blood pressure is still high, <laughs> even though I'm taking my pill every day. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I have a therapy appointment today, so I'll, maybe I'll talk to my therapist about that. Uh, she's usually really good at helping me discover things that I probably already know and just haven't looked at for some reason. Um, I am going to try and get my, is it my third or my, four, my fourth mental health app review done today, so I should be able to put it up tonight. If not, it will be up tomorrow. Um, and let me know if you like those. I haven't checked the numbers to see if anybody's really watching them. I know the last one I did was a monster. It was like... I actually tried to go through it and cut some stuff out and I thought about redoing a shorter version of it where I don't go into all the tools because it was almost a 20 minute video and I felt bad putting it up because I know most people don't want to sit through that. But um, you know if you're in a place where you need somebody to walk you through something and that, that sucker does have a whole lot of tools and a whole lot of resources. Uh, maybe somebody needs that. So if you're interested in me doing a shorter, more succinct version of it because you couldn't get through it, let me know and I'll try and do like a, a brief overview, like five or at least less than 10 minutes. And um, I'll try and get that up soon if anybody wants to see that. Um, I hope everyone is taking care of themselves.